You good? No. Well. Like Mary Poppins. But incredible. Pop- Why do you always do that? Because I want Jonna to get irritated. Mary Pop- my sister. It is not Mary Popkins. I want to pop- sound just like she all the alcoholics have, that are out have there. Pop marks. Okay. Maybe she does. She's she covering it with makeup. She, she doesn't have pock marks. You can't assume. However, though, Incredibles 2 that did come out, awesome, I thought they did a good job, um, is the number one rated PG movie with $608 million. All right. I want to go back to Disneyland again. No, not really. I want to talk about something. We finally, we finally know what's in the Star Wars blue milk thanks to the Galaxy's Edge. Thank you. Did you, did you hear about this? Yeah, this is going to be cool. Again. At the launch bay, right? Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be mean or anything else, but Are you gonna be mean? this sounds just like buttermilk, buttermilk beer from Universal Studios. Oh, that's super oh, my. sugary. Uh, it was really good. It was you liked really, it? I loved it. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. Wait, okay, but for all the people who are diabetic out there, they do not have sugar free, so don't drink it. <laughs> Stay alive. Uh, Stay alive. All right. So the green milk has seen the Star Wars last Jedi will also be an offer. It'll be the uh, same, st- just a mix of citrus flavors. That's all it is. Blue milk, you wouldn't think it'd be citrus. Like You would think like something smooth like coffee, but it's not as bitter. So the blue milk purchased at the milk stand at the Galaxy's Edge is actually a plant-based beverage, something closer to rice milk than anything from a cow. It's also been sweetened with berry, melon flavors, also much thicker than actual milk, closely in consistency to a milkshake or smoothie. Instead of, they're going to have a machine that goes... And it comes out. I'd rather have. I'd rather have that animal, like from the right, like sitting there. And you got to go up and you pay like five bucks and you squeeze its nipple and now, it goes right into the. Do you understand why they're making a smoothie, not um, milk? Do you know why? Well, the milk goes bad. Well, you, it's called refrigeration, dude. Right, just saying. Century. No, because in Florida, because of the heat, usually you don't want milk. You rather have something cool and, and smooth. So I that's thought it the reason just, why. I thought it would just go bad. I, that, I, that was my natural assumption. So, would you purchase blue milk and drink it to try it so you can say you've been part of the Star Wars universe? There's other type of milk I'd rather try. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. All right, so I need you guys to do me a favor while you're listening along the show. Make sure that you follow us on social media. Always important. It's always at your nerd side. So there's one more thing I want to get into because I, I don't talk about DC. Oh, and, and also... We're this talking is, about DC. Yeah, I wanted to throw in a little DC because they do send me some stuff. Um, I just talked to DC last week. I was telling you this off air. Uh, they want um, us to talk about Doom Patrol a little bit. I have seen two episodes. The third episode is in my inbox. And he cannot she, stop talking about it, to be honest. Really, really good. I, I just think that DC should stop making movies that go to the theaters and just focus on television yeah, shows. There you go. Not television shows that are on the, the CW, because those are more like 90210 super shows. <laughs> I'm talking about Titans, where it's a little hardcore and edgier, and I like, I like to follow the storyline. I can't wait to see uh, Superboy in the next season with Crypto. Yeah. But the Doom Patrol... Is amazing. I really liked it. From Robot Man Out of to Arrow. all the TV series no, you've Titans, ever Titans seen. Titans is better. Okay, so Titan, the live action one. Yeah, really. It's much better. Yeah. Second would be. You mean shows or Walking uh, shows. Dead? Walking Dead. No, 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 no. DC stuff, dude. Okay, uh, okay. Doom or, 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 or the ones from that, the, the cartoon world. The, the DC shows. The, the DC world. show. Oh, comic book world? Yeah, number one TV series. Number one. Let's go. Uh, Batman, the animated series. Second. Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Okay, but I'm including animation and, and that is action. animation. 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 I mean, and number three. Teen Titans. Oh, so Doom, so Doom Patrol is not that big because I just like I follow the other story. Remember, these characters are all new to me. I don't know. I don't know much about but Last you, Girl. So you're having, you're oh, I'm invested. invested. Oh, I'm invested. So Robot it, it Man's my favorite. Like, Robot Man's my favorite. Why is Robot Man your favorite? You have to see the series to see it. I don't want to give any spoilers. You got to see it. You and get yes, spoilers all the time. And yes, you know the big problem is the only way to see these shows or to get the you got to the DC you app. Gotta, you got to subscribe to it. Same thing is happening with Disney Plus. I mean, like, so right, you want to see yeah. the Boba Fett, the mm-hmm. new the Mandalorian Mond- Mandalorian series, which is supposed to be they're putting a lot of money in some big actors in it. The only way to see it is you actually have to. Get Disney Plus. It's the only way. And if you want to see the new uh, spinoff of Loki, Disney Plus. You want to see the other Star Wars series? I mean, there's another Star Wars series, The Resistance. Right. Live action. You got to get Disney Plus. So that's just the way they're going. All right. So do you want me to get into this DC story? Or you want me to pull somebody's name out? 
No, it's called DC Store, and I love that symbol of All Star right. Trek news, too. That was a cool logo. I wish they sell that stuff. I With that logo? I mean, like, Well, that's Federation. That's If you're a true Trekkie, you would know that's the actual Federation. And the different logos are for different people that are on, you know. Yeah, I just got wish science there was officer, an animation store. Engineering. I know. Science officer. I want a Did CBS you know store, like Did Warner you? Brothers store. I miss that. All right. In on this piece of paper is this week's winner. What? That, that is going to. Woo! Congratulations, uh, congratulations. So should I do the DC news or should we just get into this? Just, D- just let's naming. do DC news. All suspense, right. suspense, right. suspense. This uh, person on this uh, slip of paper. I know you hate me. That's okay. All right. Um, also, uh, when you get a chance, I want you to go to the website because I got an article on Mark Hamill reveals his favorite Last Jedi scene. This is pretty cool. This is really good. Okay, so an article we found is DC isn't focusing on crossovers in the live action universe anymore. No more crossovers. They're done. No more. No more. No more Batman versus Superman. No more Wonder Woman. No what, be with what Batman. Ifs? Wait, so never will Wonder Woman ever have a relationship with Batman? No. Well, I mean, would you trust Come her? Come on now. The girl might get a disease. One week she's with Ben Affleck. Next week it's some guy new. Might be the guy from Queen. Whatever. They keep switching the people. Come she's on She's going to have a disease. Come, Come on, on now. Chris so Pine, when, save the D- day. when DC first began its own cinematic Dramatic. universe, came to the market with a different idea about how to build the universe. Character crossover happened almost immediately. Remember? Mm-hmm. And the second film, the franchise brought together Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, DC's three biggest hitters. However, it seems that Warner Brothers and DC have decided to change things going forward, see to focus on individual characters and stories rather than building large cross- crossovers. So already, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. They're already shooting themselves in the foot since they can't accomplish this properly. What I mean, crossovers and doing all this, or at least knowing that they can come together with Justice League, they're not going to have the same buzz as Marvel. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, they just lost it because we're like, I think one of the biggest things that that uh, they actually build up and Marvel's so well known for is you wait for the end credits, like, oh my god, he's going to do that the next one. Oh my god, that's going to happen the next one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, aren't they ever going to stop this? But you know, the people that say that still wait and want to see it. I mean, I'm yeah. always googling to see what the extra bonus footage is. I, I even did that for DC, so DC doesn't have that. So if you're going to go see Wonder Woman. Expect to just have a Wonder Woman movie, and it's going to be a tease of what happens in the the next Wonder Woman movie if we get anything. And if you're going to see just like new- Aquaman, correct? Yeah, that was just a tease for the next Aquaman for the movie. Next one. So they just they just see that they they've gone too fast. It just won't work. Now I I try to see and read more that she sent me. Yeah. Um, and I emailed her back asking this. I'm like, so what's happening in the future? He goes, I have no comments on that right now. So I'm actually emailing back WB when I look at an article and I'm like, I'm going to post this because I want to yeah. talk about it. So I, I don't know. But don't expect any crossovers or, oh my God, uh, Batman's getting his ass kicked and the Green Lantern Corps is going to come save him because it's, it's just not going to happen. You seem so sad. A little bit sad. But, but it's okay. Yeah. Majority, I, I've got to say, the majority of the lineup that's coming out for DC... I, I'm not excited for any of it. And not I, even Wonder Woman 1984? Not really. I, <gasps> there's no buzz about it. I, she's, it's already, yeah. uh, what happened? I knew there was Cheetah coming out. It was real buzz. And then all of a sudden, just, pfft, it's gone. Well, because Captain Marvel. Yeah, and when I, they changed the date to um, June 5th, 2020, I, I never liked Cheetah. That's the only thing. Is, is like, I, I uh, just, I see nothing going forward that mm-hmm. that's going to do anything. Also on the website, I want you to check out for all our comic book, uh, uh, well, connoisseurs out there. I've got the latest uh, l- listings of Marvel and DC comics that are coming out. They're going to cross over good with the movies if you want to read those at all. And are you excited for Captain Marvel coming out? Yeah, and I'm going to timestamp this. Seeing the premiere Tuesday, I'm going to love it. And I'm very, very lucky. Can I can I announce a, a winner for Disneyland tickets? Please. All right, so if you enter your nerd side, simple and easy for nerd contests, you get the chance to go to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Ride the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. You troll the Falcons, you fly it with your family. And I really mean it. There is one, two, three, four, three seats this way, two in the front. Each person is in charge of flying the seat, the ship. So you have to work together on this. Awesome. And on top of that, you also got Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. 
which is actually pretty awesome too. You're going to go on a little ride and it's going to go through. I'll tell you what it's like and they're going to get mad. It's like the uh, Transformers ride at Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. Kind of like mm-hmm. that. But in the front, there is an R2 unit that's going to be driving you around. So that'd be pretty cool. Cool. The person who's going to be going is from Cal- Bro, please. Is from California. What? Irvine, California. Irvine, right by UC Irvine. John Waters from Irvine, California, not only entered once, but entered 72 times. And uh, that doesn't mean he had more chances to win. Dude, not at all. He just walk over to do the win. Yeah, it's real easy for I didn't select him. John Waters, John Waters, you'll be contacted. They're going to take care of you. Lucky this is the cool Johnny. Part. You're going to be whisked into Disneyland with earlier for the park is even open, and you're going to experience all the rides. So if you didn't win this week, doesn't mean you could be from San Jose. You could be from San Francisco. What about Minneapolis, Minnesota? You can be there there too. What about Atlanta, Georgia? You can be from there if you guys can fly yourself in. I cannot get you into the Universal Studios. I mean, I'm sorry. Take it back. I cannot take you into the Disney World Disney, the Disney World one. Got it. We don't have that. But I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, not too bad. If you want to do it, and I'm telling, I'm getting a lot of entries from different locations. Hartford, people, Connecticut, you want to avoid gonna, the snow? Come over down. Well, Come you down. know what? They're gonna, no matter what, uh, you're getting a regular. Disneyland passes. You're going to experience it. You're going to get park yeah, hours I mean, for two days. You're getting like in Louisville, Dude, Kentucky. You're getting, you're you want to come. You're getting two tickets for two days, park hoppers. So you're going to experience Disneyland for two days. Plus, you're getting into the whole new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge before anyone Now, is there a certain time where they have to come? No, they're going to give them all the details. All details will be uh, John Waters. I'm going to email you out. And then also, you're going to get an email from Disneyland. They're going to take care of it. Woo! All right. He could take uh, Uber over there or Lyft. All right. We'll talk to you next week. Make sure to follow us both on TuneIn, social media platforms, whatever, Spotify, whatever you got. Also, follow us on iTunes. Good thing. Look for your nerd side. Talk to you next week. And don't forget, become your own superhero to yourself and others. That does it for a show. Production of Fonseca.fm. To find our affiliates and shows we work with, go to Fonseca.fm. Executive producer, Brandon Rendazzle. Assistant producer, Lisa Layson. Research, of course, AMV. Make sure to follow us on social media media at your nerd side follow us on all podcast forms at itunes apple spotify you name it we've got it want to thank our sponsors kellogg's more than 100 years kellogg's and their employees have worked to do what's right for the communities by creating great products from cereal food you name it you want to find out more about kellogg's go to kellogg's.com also brought to you by disney Disney disney.com disney world disneyland the possibilities for disney are unbelievable to find out more, go to Disney.com to see what they have and what they can offer for you. Skechers, the shoes you need to wear. The shoes that are awesome. SketchersUSA.com. You want to check them out and see what kind of pairs of shoes they have and what styles they have to offer. Twizzlers. Twizzlers.com. The candy everyone loves. You go to the movies, Twizzlers are the best to eat. And they're easy to sneak in. <laughs> Twizzlers.com. The candy you love. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to the show, and make sure to always follow us.